What's up, everybody? It's your boy Robert Christopher Riley, a.k.a. Terrence Wall from VH1's Hit the Floor, and you are at, with Inspire Magazine here at the Dream Reach Inspire event for the Phil Tate Show. Guess no better. So tell us how you feel about this event. I'm super excited about this event. The Dream Reach Inspire initiative is super important. I think particularly at this state of uh, our country and just politically everything that's going on and how our youth is being attacked, um, I think it's uh, platforms like this that allow us to, to give back to the community, to highlight amazing people doing dynamic, amazing things, and also to help the next generation to come up and achieve their goals and their dreams. Awesome. And how does it feel to see Phil and his movement? You know, it looks like it's something that's definitely growing, something that's catching a lot of attention. Tell us about your affiliation with the show. Um, so Phil um, has been, uh, I guess, mentee. He's, uh, he's reached out to me several times over the last few years, and he interviewed me about a year ago. And then he invited me to come up and uh, be the uh, introduction uh, spokesperson for him. Um, I'm really proud of everything that he's been able to accomplish on his own. Um, he's really taken an initiative to create a brand, um, create a platform, and have a voice um, that speaks back to the community, uh, the community that we both come from. Um, I'm from East New York, Brooklyn, so I'm a New York native, um, okay. and I'm really passionate about helping those that come behind me. I feel like that we should always be reaching and pulling at the same time. Like You should always be looking for someone to help you to, to build up, but then at the same time, make sure you're bringing somebody with you, and I think Phil's doing that in a really amazing way. Wow, that's definitely awesome. I know our audience will definitely be looking forward to more about um, Phil and his platform. And tell us, what do you have going on? What more can we expect from you this year? Well, I have a lot of stuff going on. It's really interesting. So I'm the vice president of Combs Enterprises, so I work with Sean Combs on a day-to-day -day basis. But in addition to that, uh, my own personal projects are really coming together nicely. I wrapped up a manuscript just recently, so I'm going to be publishing that within the next six months. Um, I have two television shows that I am working on producing. Okay. And um, a few other things. Some lipstick, some other fun, cool stuff. So awesome. stay tuned. And you can go to www.ericapittman.com Awesome. We'll definitely make sure our audience checks that out. That's www.ericapittman.com yes. yes. And thank you very much. Thank you. We're here in Brooklyn. We're here for the Phil Tate Show. Um, tell us, um, how excited are you to be here today and be part of this event? I'm excited. Um, I think it's an amazing event. Um, they were just asking me what I think um, Dream Reach and Inspire means. And I think it's great when a person has a dream and they reach for it and they reach that goal and they inspire other people to do the same thing. So um, I think what Phil Tate is doing is awesome and I'm just honored to be a part of it. Okay, that sounds really, really great. We have a lot of people here today, um, a nice panel. Um, I guess there's going to be a lot of conversation about what people, what, how we can spread positivity towards others. What advice would you give to other who's up and coming in whatever industry that they're in to try to stay focused and be positive within what is that they're doing? Um, I think being that we're in a world full of such negativity, um, I think that events like this um, are definitely needed um, so we can spread positivity to those who um, have those dreams, whether it's to sing or to act or um, to do anything, what have you. Um, I think it's great to just remind those people that yes, you can, you can do it and we're living testimonies of that. And so um, I think just us being here is an inspiration um, for them and then any questions that they have we can answer, you know, just so they can feel better about their talent or their gift and know that they can do it just like we did. Right. And I think this is somewhat of an intimate setting, too, where everyone can just feel comfortable right. and be open and just share their experiences yeah. that way. I think it's great that um, that it's an intimate crowd, so that way it doesn't feel so uptight or, you know, such, um, we have to answer the questions in such a political way. I think right. we can uh, be open about things and just talk about issues and how what we can do to make it better. Okay. Now, to close it out, Candace, tell us, what do you have going on? We want to know, our audience, what can we look forward uh, for the rest of the year from you? Yes, um, I'm always trying. Um, I just got done doing a stage play um, in LA. I was the uh, star character. Okay. My name was Lovely. Um, that was a really, really big deal to me. Um, later on in the year, I'm supposed to be going on um, a tour of the UK. So okay. I have that going on. I'm working on my second album and just traveling, traveling, traveling one place to the next. Um, it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun at the same time. Awesome. So where can um, our audience follow you, find you, and keep tabs on what you have going on? Um, okay, my Twitter is my first and last name, and it's Candice with an I, so it's C-A-N-D-I-C-E Glover. And then um, my Instagram is the same thing, and uh, my Facebook is Candice Glover Music. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And um, for the Phil Tate Show, he's out here doing a panel discussion, and we're very excited to um, explore, you know, what's positive and everyone's goals and ambitions, and any questions that the audience may have. So tell us, what do you, how do you feel about this event? I'm really excited about it because I think an, an event like this needs to exist. 
where you see a group of our people coming together and truly showing that we're not that we're up to really positive things like inspiring and actually achieving so many of the dreams that we set out to do in life. Awesome. So um, we have a nice panel discussion. Have you been following Phil and his movement? Of course. Awesome. Yes. So are we going to have you on the panel discussion today? Uh, no, tonight I'm going to be presenting one very special girl, Bree Snellick, here from America's Next Top Model. Oh, wow. Yes. Isn't that great? Yes. So, okay, to close it out, tell us, what, to you, what does it mean to you to dream, reach, and inspire? Dream, reaching, inspiring has been one of the things that I've been very passionate about since I was young. Uh, growing up in a very humble means in, you know, the hood of Brooklyn, all you really have is your passions and your dreams, especially when you, do, when you don't have a lot growing up. Those dreams and those passions are what drive you into your future. And so to continue to dream and to reach and go out for those dreams, I think is the biggest thing in the world because what I always said was I would never be a stereotype of where I grew up. And I think everyone needs to inspire to do the same. So to do that and then to get others to inspire and encourage others right. around them is something that I've truly believed in from day one. Yes, I'm telling you, we're all ready for all this positivity in the building tonight. Yeah. So tell, tell our audience, uh, what can we look forward to you for the rest of the year, and where can they find you on all social media? Uh, well, I've got these five films coming out. Uh, the Dark Right, Central Park the Movie, okay. uh, Finding Her, uh, Frat Star, and The Cat Fight. And they all have A-list uh, stars and you know a lot of really great people coming back to film. Uh, Chris Elliott, Alicia Silverstone, Sandra O. Oh. Okay. And you know just really great crowds and really great films coming out. And you can find me on social media. Everything I am at. I am Justin Davis. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So we're here um, in Brooklyn for the Phil Tate Show. Um, we're here with Mr. Riley. How are you doing today? And tell us how you feel about this positive event. Uh, I'm doing fantastic because I'm here. You know, I woke up this morning and I get to do this today. So um, I'm pretty blessed. Uh, it's it's always a great opportunity uh, when you get the chance to give back, so to speak, to try to inspire the next generation to do something positive. Uh, somebody had to do it for me, so I'm just here to return the favor. Okay. Now, um, are you, I, I hear it's like a Brooklyn thing going on oh, here. I'm from Flatbush, Brooklyn. I'm from Flatbush, Brooklyn. East 19, Auburn Mall, and Tennis Court. Oh, okay. Yeah, those two blocks that a lot of people don't want to go to. <laughs> so you're here supporting Phil and his movement. Tell us how do you feel about his platform and how he's able to actually, um, you know, his dream is actually coming through to show his po what he wants to do within the community. Well, I mean, it's important to have people like Phil in the community. I, I, I hope that I'm one of them as well. That is all about increasing the positivity and, and the actual community itself. You know, community is supposed to be a linkage of people that help each other out and navigate this little minefield we call life. So um, anybody that's trying to add to the positive, the positive aspects of that and have our greater community become more tight-knit is something that I'm down for. So that's why I'm here, Phil. Pretty simple. Awesome. So are you, you're part of the panel discussion. Are yeah. you prepared and ready to answer questions at will tonight? Um, yeah. You know, I speak. <laughs> people ask questions. I answer them. I, I, I got it. I got it covered. We're good. I'm off book. We're fine. <laughs> I need no script for this. Definitely. So give, you know, let's just give some general advice to those out there who are trying to pursue their dreams, uh, reach their goals, and how others can be inspired by everyone's mission. Um, know your strengths. Work on your weaknesses. Um, your strengths will get you that audition, and working on your weaknesses will get you that callback. Oh, wow. That's so, awesome. um, uh, yeah, I mean, just do your best at the end of the day, it, which will change from day to day, you know, and don't beat yourself up if you, you, you didn't do what, what you did Monday on Tuesday right. because Tuesday's a different day. So always do your best and understand that that's going to change whether you might be tired, you might be sick, you might, you know, you might have any number of adverse conditions working against you. But if you can tell yourself and be resolute that you're doing your best, you should be all right. Awesome. So we're going to close it out. Can you give us any details on what's going on with Hit the Floor? <laughs> um, okay, so on Monday nights at 10 o'clock, mm -hmm. you can watch the show. <laughs> All right, we're here with Phil Paint, Mr. Uh, Dream, Reach, and Inspire. And we at Inspire Magazine, we, we were just caught on and we had to come in and support you for everything that you're doing because you're about positivity and uplifting people. So tell our audience a little bit about Dream, Reach, and Inspire. Dream, Reach, and Inspire was a event that I literally got in the night and I wanted to bring inspirational people to Brooklyn, bring people that were like us, and for people to walk away inspired by such positive words. We don't have so many great people in our lives. 
lives, telling us what we need to do. But how about we bring some stars that we look up to to definitely come out and share some great words. Okay, great. We had a wonderful time here. It was definitely a lot of information, a lot of positivity, a lot of things that can help. A lot of people can watch your show and make them feel better about themselves. And that's what we love and inspire. We like people who have platforms of encouragement. So tell our audience, besides YouTube, we're hoping to see you on some networks well, soon. we locally syndicated on BCAT. Yes. So we're definitely going hard. So uh, definitely keep watching. We're trying to get syndicated. Uh, we have this big old dream, so we're just going to keep on working on it until we get there. So thank you so much.